Daniel prayed. His answer came. But you know what stopped it? Evil spirits stopped the angel bringing Daniel's result. They delayed his time for three weeks and he continued praying. You need to be on the timeline of the maker. Otherwise, some of your prayers are there hanging somewhere. Some are not even answered. And you pray genuinely. But once you enter the timeline of the creator, once you are in that rhythm, you become the best. The best doesn't really know what happened. Ask Usain Bolt to tomorrow. How do you run faster than others? He says, when I'm in that rhythm, nobody can catch me. The power of God is in timing and rhythm. Why do you think God said nobody can know when Jesus will come back? Because time, we can calculate it. Human beings can calculate time. But once he doesn't put you in that timeline, then he has absolute control. For people who do a lot of talking and exposing what they want to do, what do you think happened? You already exposed your hands so they know your timing and rhythm. And if you don't have backup, they will crush whatever you want to do. But let's say you are three steps ahead of your competitors and you show your hand in one. Why they are dealing with that, you operate to another level. It's a very huge strategy. Hallelujah. They will think they know everything about you and what you're doing in your business and all. Meanwhile, you are four steps ahead. You are showing them your hands here. When they say you are showing your hand, you are showing them your timeline. That's what it means. But I want you to pray. I will celebrate victory at all times. From this day going forward, I will celebrate victory in the name of Jesus. I will celebrate victory at all times in the name of Jesus. I am designed for victory by the power in the name of Jesus. I will celebrate victory at all times in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mightiest name we have prayed. But remember I told you that all you need is to get on the timeline of God and the rhythm of life but then that trust is very very important. Psalms 20 verse 7 and 8. Some trust in chariots and some in horses but we remember the name of our God and then we go to verse 8. It says they are brought down and fallen but we are rising and we are standing upright. Once you trust God, let him fight your battles. Don't trust in your chariots. Don't trust in your money. And I want you to decree that. Some trust in their chariots. But Lord, I trust in you. Deliver me from all Goliaths in my life. Others trust in their pastors. Some trust in their uncles. But Lord, I trust you to deliver me. Deliver me from this depth. In the name of Jesus. Some trust their businesses. Some trust their acronyms. But here I trust you, Lord. Deliver me from this illness. Some trust in their doctors. They trust in the money of surgery. But Lord, I trust you. Deliver me from this pain. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mightiest name, we are prayed. My Father, silence every voice of enemy speaking against my victory. Let them be silenced. As I proceed into the sand of victory, silence every voice of the enemy speaking against my victory. In the name of Jesus, silence, silence, silence them. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mightiest name, we are praying. Let my enemy fall into every trap that they have set up for me. Let them fall into it. Every enemy is physical, spiritual. Fall into the trap you have set for me. In the name of Jesus. Fall into the trap you have set for me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mightiest name we are prayed. Lord, overpower my enemies in battle. Get me victory. Get me victory. Overpower my enemies in battles. Get me victory, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, overpower my enemies in battle. Get me to victory. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mightiest name we are prayed. Lord, convert my struggle to victory. Convert every of my struggle to victory. Convert my limitations to my victory. In the name of Jesus, convert my struggles to victory. Convert my limitations to victory. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus, mightiest name, we are praying. Let the affairs of my heart, let the affairs of my life, 
let it become too hot for the enemies to handle in the name of jesus let the affairs of my life let it become too hot for the enemies to touch in the name of jesus i want all round victory let my life be too hot for my enemies to touch in the name of jesus in jesus mightiest name we have prayed I dismantle by the blood of Jesus every weapon targeted against me in battle. I dismantle them from their source in the name of Jesus. I dismantle from source every weapon targeted against me to deliver battle to me. I decree them destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every battle that had been set up, weapons of that battle, they are destroyed by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mightiest name, we are praying. Demonic utterances, demonic verdict, I render you null and void. As I stride into victory, I render demonic utterances, demonic verdicts, I render them null and void. In the name of Jesus, every demonic voice, every demonic verdict rendered against me in battle, I render you null and void. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mightiest name, we are praying. 